as the next mayor of New York City. Endorsing Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams for mayor outside City Hall, Abner Lawima has been a voice for police reform since his 1997 beating and sexual assault at the hands of the NYPD. I know Eric Adams and I know the work that he's been doing. It's a boost for Adams, a retired NYPD captain and longtime lawmaker who's tried to find a middle ground on police reform. You can't have justice without safety and you can't have safety without justice. And that puts me in a unique place because many people are not willing to say that. A short distance away in Chinatown, Andrew Yang was rolling out endorsements of his own, several Asian American community groups. Yang was focused on helping communities like this one recover from the pandemic. The relief that so many small businesses have received has not necessarily reached the business owners here. But so much attention lately has been on the rise in anti-Asian American hate crimes. Yang has also been careful to say the NYPD must balance reform and public safety, even suggesting not defunding but increasing support to the Asian Hate Crime Task Force. So in the context of the NYPD budget, we're not talking about, like, frankly, a, a meaningful investment. You can easily shift resources to that kind of task force. Elsewhere, former Sanitation Commissioner Catherine Garcia picked up the endorsement of retired General Lori Sutton, who ran for mayor herself for a short time. Other candidates mixed in-person and virtual events, including Ray McGuire, who stopped by the PIX11 Morning News. We pressed him on how he would respond as mayor to the recent increase in shootings. I want better policing. I want to make sure we got the resources dedicated to address the gun violence. 